Is our goal to win the World Series or just remain ultra competitive for years? That is the pertinent question number three MLB teams have to ask themselves heading into the August 1st trade deadline. If you happen to miss our first two reasons, go check out our previous video. Now, let's delve into it. Most teams are reluctant to ever go quote unquote all in on one deadline by depleting their farm system to acquire talent and ostensibly have a better squad. Yes, but once you get to the postseason, it is still a dice roll. Said dice roll has never been more prevalent now with the implementation of a now third wild card. Just go back. Oh, just last year, when the sputtering Phillies all year, up until mid-August, when they all of a sudden caught fire by sneaking into, you guessed it, that coveted third wild card spot, and ultimately became NL champs. The advent of one more team in the playoffs convolutes the playoff bracket, which makes the odds of that dice roll going in your favor that much more difficult. <laughs> Fast forwarding to this year, for example, if you are the Baltimore Orioles, who seemingly have a window upwards of a half decade to compete for the World Series, where star second year catcher Adley Rutschman has led them to the third best record in all of ball since he was called up behind the Dodgers and Astros. Do you really want to go all in for Shohei Otani by depleting your farm system? My contention, and I would surmise theirs as well, would be no. Does it mean they are relenting on the fact they have no chance this year? No. All it implies is they value a large window of contention, rather up your chances of winning it all in one year by, what, 5%? By selling off your top prospects. As much as you may lament that process as an Oriole fan, it is the prudent decision that will ultimately pay off in the long run. Oh my. Now. The final pertinent question looming over every team's front office heading into the deadline, in my opinion, there's a strategic element. If you were a borderline seller or a team reluctantly looking to sell based on the standings, now candidly, plenty of elements have to line up for this to occur, but it is feasible. First, there has to be an imbalance of buyers and sellers, where sellers have the advantage, take a gander at the market, see if there is a benefit of available talent at a certain position. Lastly, see if you have a player that fits that bill and pounce. Lo and behold, this strategy is applicable to this season. If you are the Chicago White Sox, what is the rationale to not trade Dylan Cease? As of writing this on July 19th, even in the most putrid division in decades, they are still nine games back, nine off first place, and only a better record than Oakland and Kansas City in the American League. The best starters available are who? Marcus Stroman, Jordan Montgomery, Lucas Giolito, and that's the top tier we are talking about. He immediately jumps those guys and becomes the guy to get. Furthermore, the Sox would get a fucking haul and expedite their much-needed rebuild. Y'all agree? 